Love to be here. I picked up a review. This gentleman from out west, a reviewer, said, what a surprise it is to find amid so many writers who can't write an actress who can. That was, that was about the Red Raven. Yes. Well, you see, it's, not, it's really not very astonishing. As an actor, if you've been at it long enough, and I have, you have a feeling for the, the phrase, a feeling for the apt word, and you also know why you don't get a laugh, because it isn't well pointed, you understand? Mm -hmm. Or an entrance isn't well enough built up, so you have some training. So you translate that phrasing into your writing. Of course. Change Lobsters and Dance was your autobiography. That's right. And then The Red Raven, a novel, and now another that novel. That was difficult. Yes, you say that that was difficult. It was difficult because then you forgive an actor or an actress or whoever they are, you forgive them their autobiography, because they might have had an interesting life. You don't forgive them suddenly to sit down and write a novel. You say, how come? How dare she? But you've been writing. You wrote when you were 18. That's right. Now, you weren't happy with that, with that writing then. <laughs> of course not. <laughs> but you've no. always loved this. Writing. I've always wanted to be a writer. I've always wanted to be a painter. And look, here I am, an actress. So it all comes together. But it is not, not, not foreign to me to invent a story, to spin a story. And of course, as you know, with my distinguished colleagues Tolstoy or whoever it is in common, <laughs> you don't ever really invent. You, you steal. Hmm. You see this story now. Uh, Sophie, uh, yes. The, my, my current book is called in English, what is it called? Um, uh, time uh, time for Embracing, because I wrote it first in German, um, was the story of my best friend who was much older than I am. I always have older friends, I can learn something. And I always thought while she was alive, I must write the extraordinary story of that woman. You see. She so. was extraordinary, a beauty, yet always looking for happiness and never really finding it. And think of her background, a Turkish, an mm. Oriental mother and a bully of a German father. It was very strange. Anyway, one doesn't invent. You, know, you experience and something sort of assimilates up there like toffee. You know, uh -huh. it sits there, and then when you need it, it comes out. You pull it out. This woman, though, her she turned to morphine, didn't she? She had pretty, mm. a pretty tragic yes, story. Yes, but, but so like so many people, you know, having an operation, screaming with pain, being given morphine, and reacting wonderfully to it. I get sick, don't you, when I get mm -hmm. morphine? So I, I could never be an addict, but she became like so many and then had to get rid of it. Uh, but I know how she did it, and that interested me, too. You wrote the book in German, and you say you don't ever translate from German to English. Do I do? I, I mean... You do a rewrite, though, don't you? I do a rewrite, yes. Yes, that's a complicated. total adaptation, yes. Is that because of the, the, differ the difficulty in translating German to English? No, it is just because I think the Americans are interested, or the English in this case, or the French, are, different, are interested in different things. See? Ah. And that's why I ought to... In Change Lobsters and Dance, you wrote about Rex Harrison, your husband. I would love to touch on this first just husband. briefly, your first husband. Uh, you wrote about him in a very kind way, and then he came out with a book, didn't he? Yes. And, and didn't say such kind things. So. No. Elas. <laughs> <laughs> so what did you do then? You, when you went to the English version? Well, I had, to, I had to put the record straight, and I really mean straight. I just told the truth. But I still, I think, gave him what is his due, which is that he's a great actor. Mm, okay. You are a great actress. You are about to open the Kennedy Center That's with right. a wonderful new That's piece right. of work, right? Yes. Uh, I don't know what to tell you about this. Imagine I made a vow not to get on, not to ever tread the stage again. And I broke it. Now, this is the second time I'm breaking it. Last time, 11 years ago with Noel Coward for his last plays in London. And now, I couldn't resist. It's, uh, it's, it's Sarah Bernhardt, you mm. know, the great actress. And it's a one-woman play. So Difficult. the only voice you're going to hear is going to be mine. Oh. And it's a centenary of her first visit in America. It is. That's what it's no. all, that's the plot. Then. Yeah. It's not her whole life. Her love affair with America. She loved the Americans, and the Americans loved her. And I personally think that uh, at this very moment, the Americans can do with some loving, don't you think? You said something, though, when you walked into the studio this morning. You said Americans are so friendly. You like it here, don't you? Love it, yes. But you live in Switzerland. Well, I'm an old European. My husband is Swiss, and I live there. But I come here often, often. And don't forget, I lived here for many years with both my husbands, making films in England, and then for five straight years on Broadway. Well, these are great 
they are parts of my life. I wonder, though, the returning after of now, you said 11 years ago, but it's really been 26 years since you actually right. really worked Broadway. And take that in, 26 years, <gasps> so I shall be shaking in my shoes. You look, I must tell you, you look wonderful. Do you have, Thank are you. you concerned at all about a new audience, Lily? No. An audience is an audience. You feel, you respond. And if you're good, they respond. If you're bad, they don't. I don't. I, I never give it a thought. It wasn't easy for you when you were growing up in Germany because, as no. I, the fact that you were Jewish, you were not allowed to work there. Correct? Well, when I was growing up, I didn't even know I was Jewish. I only found that out when I couldn't play uh, the Virgin Mary at Christmas time for the Christmas pantomime. And that was a bit of unfairness, I thought, because I argued and said, but the Virgin Mary was Jewish. That's right. <laughs> you see? So it's very hard to answer this to a child of 10. Anyway, then came Hitler. And then I really suddenly thought, good God, I'm Jewish. And out I went and well, with a great big kick in the behind because I very nearly got into concentration camp. And out I went, aged 18. And oh. all I can tell you is this, if you have to live your leave your country, your language, everything. Try and be 18. It's the ideal, uh, the ideal age, because you're young enough to start again in a new country. Don't, don't leave it at a later age. Well, you maybe perhaps no. were fortunate, but when you went back in That's 1955, it. you were very concerned. You thought you were looking over your shoulder all the time, all the weren't time. you? Until somebody said to me, don't go with a, with a water diviner. Mm -hmm. through Germany and see where it jumps and says he was a Nazi, he was a collaborator, he was only just a poor man who stayed. But now, you see, now I'm in Germany working there often with a great big cross of whatever it is around my neck, as <laughs> they gave me. I don't know what for. But you have to be now well over 60 in Germany to, be, to have been active in the Nazi party. Oh, I see. Now, this is something you mustn't forget. And, and I don't hold with the old uh, God of the Jewish religion who said that he will avenge the sins of their fathers until the seventh generation. I think that's a lot of nonsense. What, what next? What now? Now, Sarah Bernhardt, you go into rehearsal for this? I mean, Sarah Bernhardt, I start rehearsing in December in New York. And beyond that, I simply can't think. Probably another fine novel. I hope Who that knows? you keep giving I us those. So. A time to embrace uh, a wonderful story. And Lily, it's a delight to have you here this Thank morning. You. Yes, nice Bye. to know.